Hello YouTube, it is I, GamerLuna, and we're here with a toy review of the 11th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. Um, actually I've already installed the batteries for you guys, but I'm still going to show you how to do it. So go ahead and slip it out. It should have the instructions, that should say Sonic Screwdriver instructions. And then the Sonic Screwdriver itself, actually this is where the three batteries should be. They're button batteries, which kind of made me pissed off. Go ahead and pop it out. I mean, yeah, you just press the emitter and release. It's just a bigger button up here. Okay, now you just twist, pull. There you go. Now then it reveals the battery compartment and two buttons. Just ignore those for now. Find a screw. You need a really tiny screwdriver. <laughs> Yeah, you're making a screwdriver work. You're making a sonic screwdriver work with this son with a screwdriver. You know what? This screwdriver could be a little bit more sonic. Anyways, Let's see if I can get this open. Yay! Okay, there we go. Ah, come on, come on. There we go. There we go. That's where you put all the batteries. You just place them in there. Make sure that they're nice and firm. I'm not taking them out because I don't feel like it. Not too hard to take them out and put them back in. And plus, it gets annoying after a while, and then you don't want to mess up the sonic screwdriver. Okay, I just pop it back in. Uh, screw it back in too. Try not to strip it because it's really dull plastic and crappy screws. <laughs> and I don't have an I. And I'm too lazy to replace the screws, so. <laughs> there we go. So you just pop it back in, just kind of match it up, and then you close it, and there you go. You just press the. For when it's. When this tool. Tool. Um, is, is. The emitter is back down and retracted. Press smaller buttons. Those are two sound effects that it makes. And then it also has this back button, which is button B. But there's one problem. There's only this button works when it's open. So it kind of works like a flashlight, I guess. And then there are two hidden hidden, hidden founds. What the heck? Hidden sounds. There we go. Hidden sounds. Okay. And that is our Sonic Screwdriver. It is a very good collector's piece, I would say. I This is hardly able to be called a toy. This is, the weight is nice, unlike this one right here. Actually, this one's kind of nice to have around because it's like a pen and a light. It's, um, it's a UV torch, so. There you go. I'm working on a cosplay. I believe I've, I'm, in fact, I've already finished the, the 11th Doctor cosplay, because now I have this, and bow tie, and a pair of suspenders. Yay. Suspenders. Sonic you. A Sonic you. Now, let's do a little bit of a size comparison. This one's clearly bigger in this mode, but when this one is open, they're about the same size. But this one is still bigger. <laughs> well, I kind of like this one because this one's more like a life size. Actually, I believe this one is is also life size. It's just this one happens to be bigger. But this is a very very good like cosplay prop. But I can hardly call it a toy because you have to be kind of careful. You don't want to give this to a little kid, <laughs> even though it's like I don't know. Yeah, it's a small part. It's not for children under three years. How old can they be? I don't know. All I know is that I'm like, oh, yep, yep. They have to be at least five. That's about a pretty good age for them to use this. 
Yeah, but a lot of little kids, maybe around that age, try and try and try when it breaks. Oh, gosh. Anyways. But if you just want to, like, take good care of it and when you're not using it, if you keep the package, if you want to, I'm not saying you should, you just keep put it back in the package and keep it out like that. It's just like a nice little display. It is a nice display that they had for it, so I just, I just kept it. I can't find the bottom thing. I don't know where I put it. And I dropped it on the ground somewhere. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, okay. Wait, you can just put the cap thing back on in the bottom. And voila, it's in its little display case, I guess. So that's for collector nerds, and I'm not really a collector nerd. Oh gosh. <coughs> Apologies. <laughs> oh. Okay, that was weird. Anyway. Uh, unexpected name. Nah. Speaking of which, sorry if I, my hair looks like a rag and a crappy. Anyways, because I just woke up. <laughs> I wasn't able to record this last night directly after this review, sadly. I wasn't because, um, something, a bunch of stuff happened and I wasn't able to. Because my mom wasn't feeling very good. And I'm celebrating my birthday today, except these are like the only presents I got actually on my birthday. We're just celebrating with cake. Anyways. And voila, here is your sonic screwdriver. I mean, this is really good for cosplay because it's so detailed. So beautifully detailed. But here's going to do what, what, here's my view on the sonic screwdriver and how awesome it looks to me. This part is actually kind of, is off, is really awfully awesomely detailed. Oh my goodness, but it, it's too bad it's like plastic and not, and it couldn't be some sort of like, uh, squishy, um, replacement leather, I guess. That would have been awesome if it was, but it would have been more expensive. And then, like, the way it feels on your hand, it's just really nice. It's just got a nice weight to it. And it just feels, it feels really funny when it does that. Cause you just feel the whole screwdriver moving. It's weird, but it's a really good prop to me. And then when you have this, it kind of makes it feel like the dead man switch. Do that, or I'll do this. <laughs> Boom. Anyways, but I don't know if that's on the actual prop. I don't remember. <laughs> I'll probably find it out. If you guys can help me out in the comments, that would be very helped. Thank you. Anyways. If you're wondering how I just did that, I just pressed the button in here. There's a button right there. This is what I love about Dead Man Switch thingy. It's awesome when you do this. This is just really nice to keep around. <sighs> Especially when you're bored. And now I actually have an, uh, not, I now have an excuse to keep this one around. The pen. I don't know what I did with the um UV nib, whatever you call it. Oh well, I'll find it. Oh wait, it's right just there. Thank you. Anyways, yeah, I just found it. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a shame you can't keep it in this one's display, cause you have to like ruin the package to get it open. Why? Anyways. It's a shame they couldn't have done this, like some sort of activation, if they both were, if they were, if there were two Sonics touching each other, like. But if you haven't noticed, this one actually has a slightly deeper emitter sound to it. I have no idea why it would be still called a, son a Sonic screwdriver, because aren't they supposed to all emit the same sound? Well, there's this one. Just one's higher pitch, the other one's like smaller pitch. So this one has a chirp in it. And then another one. This one is just deeper, I think. Yeah, lighter. 
And then there's also a problem with this one. The claws on it don't latch in very tight. See, they're all wiggly. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Ooh, I know how to mod that, but I'm too lazy to do it. And plus, I don't have any cardboard, so it's kind of hard to do. But this is really nice to keep around. <laughs> oh gosh, I still love this. Man. I'm still mad about the part that this thing, that that when it's like partly, when it's like in the middle. I pressed the button for you, but it also wastes the battery. Um, that's why I can't use this one too much. <sighs> Boy, it's windy outside. You can hear the wind chime. Anyway, um, I really am happy that you guys are checking out this video for me. And I don't mean checking it out. Anyways, I just think you guys are awesome when it comes to people watching my videos. Fun. Why do you think I do them? I do them so they can be watched! Anyways, I record them because I have fun doing it. And it's just, I don't really like the people that just do it for fame. I don't like it when people do that. It's just so wrong. Um, I do it to entertain the people, and everyone can have fun while being entertained and laugh their butts off if they wanted to. If I was doing something funny, or if I say something wrong and I laugh at myself and everyone laughs with me, that's, that's my goal in life, to make sure everyone laughs with me and not at me. Oh my gosh, for example, there are plenty of YouTubers that are so successful. I mean, I'm probably not that successful compared to them, but in my eyes, I think I'm pretty successful, because at least I'm getting, like, maybe a couple views here and there. But other than that, I, 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 I call that a success for me. But not a really big one, but it's like, it's like, yes, I have 100 views on something, and yada, yada, yada. Anyways, this is not actually my original account. I will be returning to, uh, I will be returning to um, the Flame Bixis here in a couple days. Um, I will st still be using Gamer Wuna. Um, I just don't know when exactly. I'm probably going to subscribe to myself. <laughs> oh gosh. Anyways, um, see you guys later.